Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, international new artist and educator here, and I'm in with Olivia today. <laughs> we are going to be playing with some pictures uh, of the news, and I think it is a really important subject because you can do the most amazing news. They can be fantastic, just like absolutely perfect, but the way you take a picture will spoil everything, and it just wouldn't look nice. Um, I have really struggled with it on the beginning, and Olivia, <laughs> she's always coming in, Mom, can you take a picture of the news I did it? Because her artwork is really nice, but then the way she takes the pictures, it just doesn't look right. Um, so, yeah, we will show you how, how fussy I am when it comes to the pictures and then why they are good as well. Um, excuse, because both of us have, my news are about nearly two weeks and yours are about um, almost a week. No, a week no, and a half. Definitely a week, so it's almost It two was weeks. Thursdays, two and a half, no, week and a half and two weeks, <laughs> yeah. So they, they are quite grown out and our cuticles are erect, but I will show you how to do the setup. So, um, first of all, you want to grab some accessories and I got an amazing rings from Temu. We do have some sunflowers just because it's an autumn time as well. They are from Temu as well plus other bits and pieces. So like, I find that those kind of fluffy ball makes a really nice and big job. Um, it's amazing. Um, this is quite handy as well because you can put a hand um, like, uh, just like this. Um, this is actually pretty cool. Let me get the light okay. on as well. Yeah, so you can kind of like um, make it a pretty, uh, pretty nice. Like some ladies, um, like um, they embarrassed about their fingers and the things like that. So you can see it. Uh, it can hide pretty nice particle of the hand. Plus, it looks pretty nice. Uh, as I say, excuse my cuticles. Olivia just managed to oil tears. She was like, I said, no, no, it's fine. I will do it for you. But um, this is very handy. Um, Another stuff I love, actually, this is, guys, a bit of a rock, a rock, 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 okay. a rock, and I always use it for the pictures. Um, we've got in the house four pillows, which looks like that. So most of my uh, Neil's pictures are, they are here. Yes, yes, Patrick is showing uh, they are here because we did another amazing setup. I, I cannot wait to show you that as well. But um, when it comes to taking the pictures, so first of all, um, if it's too cold or if it's dark, I would use the setup which I've got in my kneel desk. So I will need to grab my customer hand and I think Patrick, you will be best behind us. Uh, so grabbing the hand uh, means if you look at it, like uh, basically what I do, I grab my customer hand, I put my camera on, not on selfie mode. <laughs> <laughs> clean it, always clean your camera like really well, you need to clean it. And then I'm checking how the See, this is awesome. So this actually look quite good. But if I would put my camera at that angle, this still looks good. They are two nice, two nice nails. Ah, <laughs> I wanted in the hands. I wanted to show you bad angle. No, the, the lighting actually plays nice. But there we are. This is bad. If you look, uh, you can see the light reflection uh, coming in too high on a bad design. And that would just spoil the look. So what I want to do it is grab with your hand the way so the design is showing in a camera. So you've got it. Yeah, it does better. Probably. Yes, but then that doesn't show the light. So I want yeah. to show this is wrong. Look at the bat. This is good. Okay. Sometimes, um, sometimes when we do the setup, like uh, what else I will do? Olivia, I've got black background, which is quite plain. But in most cases, you know, you, you have done pink nails and then the client is wearing, I don't know, some odd color, which just wouldn't go completely yeah. with the design. Uh, I'm bending this background, <clears throat> grabbing what I've got on my desk. So that's actually the wipe holder. And I would push that against the client hand. So when you look now, we've got a really nice background and this is actually really good setup. I don't like the way her finger goes, so I would probably change it so slightly. Uh, another thing what we want to do is grab the second hand. And now when you're playing with the second hand, you want to lay, so you cannot have this hand at this angle because the picture will look really bad. You need to have it at the same kind of direction, same angle, and then you would be ready to shoot the picture. Again, checking how the light is reflecting on those nails. Um, another handy thing as well, like so I do love it, how they look actually on the pictures because it's so simple way to, to decorate the hand. See, 
No, that will be too large for Olivia. She's got tiny skinny fingers, mm -hmm. like too skinny. Um, but I like this one. I do really like this gold detail. So I'll just squeeze it. There we are. Then another one. And you're kind of playing and seeing what, what, what is going on. You can add as many as you want, but I think it also enhances the way the nails look. Um, another stuff, I would use it. I'm going to actually run away and grab it because normally in the old salon, I had it um, in the, on the side of me. Now here I've got it in my trophy, uh, trophy box, so I'm just going to grab it. And this will be a wee diamond. I feel like this looks always fantastic. Patrick is following me with the camera. Okay, showing all my angles, there we are. Those little thing, so I would place her hand in there, like this, pinky is wrong. Olivia is sometimes annoyed at me, so let me move cameraman hand. This hand doesn't look nice, there we are. This is better. Can you see the difference? That doesn't look nice. Her finger look really fat and she's got skinny fingers. And now this looks pretty. Okay, and that's, this is too far. This one is too bended. Pinky is too stressed, too low. There we are. And then I have to add some background and remove the fluff. Okay, so that's one of the shots. Another thing I want to show you, because this is very handy, guys, um, is the press on tips and also I tell you the secret what uh, so no let's give the small ones to Olivia and then the large ones to me <laughs> so if you um, if you can yes <laughs> uh, we've got them here and really often guys you ask me Actually, how do we secure them? So let's look at Livia's hands because she is a master in it. Because uh, usually I'm using her mm -hmm. hand uh, with it. Um, so I'm taking the pumpkin one because you didn't like the pumpkins. So I'm taking the spider? Yes, you're taking... No, pumpkin is mine. You're taking the ghosts. So this is a pumpkin set. This is a ghost set. This is the ghost set, this is the pumpkin. Okay, so that's the news. Um, actually, this uh, tutorial is gonna come up on tomorrow. So you'll be able to see how those news have been created. And now the preparation, I love that pumpkins. Olivia doesn't like pumpkins. Now I'm gonna show you, we're both gonna show you how we use the press on news, okay? So, uh, for a picture purpose, it's not, I wouldn't use it on a client, it's just for a picture purpose. This blue stuff is called blue tack. <laughs> And Just something you can find at like a local post office or an arts and crafts store. Uh, yeah, and it's awesome for sticking the things. So I'm just trying to stick in on mine. Oh, Olivia was good and fast. Here we are. That's because there's already some on there. Um, what nails does this go on? Uh, where would you put it? Let's see if she thinks the same way like I do. Where would you put it? Which order would you place it at? And there, I've got mine. Mm, I don't actually know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. That one fell off, but you get the idea. Yeah, that's how I would do it. She picked up just exactly the same order I would do it. Alternatively, I would have swapped them. these, but then I would actually switch these around and then that one because yeah. it's bigger. And that's yeah. Bigger. <laughs> so. The thumbnail, you can see it, this is actually funny, uh, but it also shows you <laughs> how different the picture looks. So the thumbnail is far too small, but I mean, honestly, they are not made to be wear. They are just for a picture purpose and show you the design. So what I'm doing is because this part of the finger is gonna be visible, we always putting it on that side. Olivia, show the other side. <laughs> and the other side doesn't fake it in. You don't see it. You don't see it, like yeah. So we always do that. And this way we can pick up a smaller, like cuter looking thumbnail. You also want to push those press on nails into your cuticles a little bit. Sometimes they actually don't fit in like the way, like because we've got the nail extensions on, they are really not fit in, like you can see it. So it's really extremely important which way 
which angle you take a picture of them. Otherwise, it's a lot they will. Easier if you have nat like natural short nails. Absolutely, it's so much easier than the press on nail tips fit uh, perfectly. So it's so easy. And sometimes, like we would, I would record videos, like you know. 10, 20 videos in a one go, and then Olivia has bare nails and we will use her hand and do like all the pictures we have to do it. So here, it didn't look nice. I would cuticle, I would apply, use, <laughs> use cuticle oil. And the best way to, so you can see it, now it doesn't look too bad. I don't like how the light reflects, so I would still change it, the angle. And I really didn't like how this set was looking indoor with the artificial light. So what I did actually, it was, I did, uh, let me see, I may actually have the picture for it. I went outdoor. I wanted to show you that outdoor, but we already taking, I went outdoor and I took a picture of it outdoor and it was fantastic, there we are. So I'm just gonna show you. This picture was taken outdoor um, and it looks amazing. Like really, really nice. The rings, the the lighting on it uh, looks absolutely fantastic. What else I love about the lighting outdoor is that um, it is very soft light, so it looks fantastic. Yeah. So let's let's see it. What we can produce with uh, Olivia's nails. Um, mine should be like snap this way because the design follows this way and it will look more interesting. Obviously you don't want to also include any bends in the hand. So usually I would hold the hand, sorry, I'm just gonna get out of the camera. I would hold the hand that way <laughs> just so it doesn't show the bends as much. Now in Olivia's case, you can see it guys, the design is running that way. So ideally we want to have this hand in that way. And what I would do it is I would uh, grab the background. So are we shooting this way? Yeah. Then the thumb needs the other way. Ah, yes, please. <laughs> so Olivia, because uh, she is my model for so, so long, she would, uh, she would know the basic stuff. Uh, now, yeah, Are actually this one looks cool. Basics. Uh, Very important. I need to oil if you are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we will have to... We would have to shoot it that way. I would just check it and straighten it a little bit uh, because as I say, obviously we, we do both wear extensions really hard. So her hand needs to be straight, <laughs> but not stressed. Can you stress the hand? So this is what clients usually would do and it just doesn't look nice. Uh, this doesn't look nice. <laughs> Sorry, this is her best position. It just doesn't look nice. <laughs> Um, you want the hand to be, let them shake it and just throw it and same in here, you want the fingers to be nicely together, but not bend it, not lap, just nice and straight. I do actually really like the sunflower here as well, so uh, you could add it, but it would blend too much with this orange nail, so I wouldn't place it on that side. This side will be much better and then the hand will go at that angle and we can have a really nice and beautiful shot. I would adjust the light because it's really wrong for that, like Patrick is wearing the black top and see, that's why also I love my, sorry, I love I my, have black clothes. yeah, we are actually all wearing black, it's mm. terrible. So I would play with my light. This is not good. There we are, it's better. Olivia, don't move lower to the left. Stop, no, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so that is much better. I do prefer it. The ghost is disappearing. This is even better. I would actually ideally should have another wee light. We have another camera to show what's going on right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should have another camera to show you. So if you Patrick zoom out, uh, let's forget the show like what we are actually playing with. So I'm gonna show you on my camera because this is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> and if you look, that's what, what the Patrick was doing. So this is my camera. And the light, uh, I'm playing with this light. This is really important. There we are. That's my perfect shot. Don't move, Olivia. Mm -hmm. Pinky lower. Pin pinky lower. No, yeah. Too much. Stop. All the hand tiny bit lower. Perfect, that's my nice shot, okay? So, so I'm actually gonna, we're gonna post it. Uh, okay. 
as well. Don't, you can move, you can breathe now. <laughs> She's always feeling relieved when we finish the pictures because sometimes, this is actually terrible, we would take 100 pictures. No, well, actually, no, 100 photos of like. Yeah, pictures. yeah, 100, 100 photos and then choose um, uh, those pictures. But I do hope you guys have learned something new. So remember the angles, the hand needs to be nicely relaxed, like don't put your client in a funny positions, and the backgrounds really make a big difference. I find it to white, white works best. So yeah, we, we do both sending you huge glittery hugs and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.